Pablo, light it up. I had to buy the Porsche when I was young. What's up, sports fans? It's your man D back. Speak your mind, sports talk. Check it out. I'm really getting a little tired of hearing these stupid channels and this Errol Spence silliness that they're spewing. For the love of sports, let's talk about it. He had One. a busy year. Shit that happens. Nigga want me to talk about it. They love gossip. Nigga want me to talk about it. It's all over the gram, so I'ma talk about it. You heard what happened? Nigga want me to talk about it. Shit crazy. Nigga want me to talk about it. You heard what happened? Nigga want me to talk about it. Shit that happens. Nigga want me to talk about it. They love gossip. Nigga want me to talk about it. It's all over the gram, so I'ma talk about it. You heard what happened? Nigga want me to talk about it. Shit crazy. So it's it's really simple, bro. It's really simple. Hell, and this says it all right here. No, no, I'm listening. It just takes me a minute to process so much stupid all at once. <laughs> like, I love this show. And that's what I'm hearing from a lot of these channels, man. Just stupidity. Just ridiculousness. I mean, you got these channels out here talking about, you know, they don't want to, you know, uh, bash Errol Spence. They don't want to, you know, knock the man. They don't want to beat him down. They want to support him. Well, you know, statements like that shows that these, these people out here that's making these reports on YouTube, this shows their their own mentality. And their own mentality is just it's absolutely ridiculous. You know? They I, I believe they they intend to justify or downplay or or you know take it easy on Spence because they would make the stupid mistakes. Obviously these people out here that call themselves uh supporting Spence don't understand this. If you're a true fan, if you got love for this guy, you're a true fan of this guy, then you should want to see the best for him. Imagine if it was your child or your brother that's out here being reckless, that's out here risking his life over nonsense. Would you still be saying, oh, let him party a little bit, let him live? What if it was your family member that nearly killed himself? You, you guys, uh, you know, you guys out here, they say, oh, well, you know, I, I want to support him. I don't need to bash him. He has his family for that. No, no. What, what you hear us doing is not bashing him. What you hear us doing is speaking the truth. See, I'm a Spence fan. I'm a huge Spence fan. But if Spence was my brother or something, like I would tell him the same message. Bro, you got to chill out. All of this drinking and what you're doing, you don't need to do that. And then when channels come out and we say things like that, we're bashing him. We're hating him. You know, I even heard some of these channels, you know, let let die without sin, cast the first stone. But at the same time, these channels that say that has a freaking trough of stones behind them. And they throwing it at everybody they can put their finger on. Same channels. You, you go look, listen to their content. Throwing stones all the time. Placing judgment all the time on other channels and things that they say. But let thou without, you know, sin cast the first stone on Spence. But you run around casting stones all the time. But you can't tell somebody who you respect and love is a, a fighter that they need to tighten up. You can't come out on a video and say that, you know, this is wrong what you're doing. It pains you to say it's wrong. I'm not going to say it's wrong. No, it is wrong. What if your What if your family member was walking up the street? Shout out to Trav D. Trav D made this point. What if it was your family member walking up the street, and then some drunk driver comes, even though he gets tossed out of the car, and a three thousand pound machine is hurling at him, and it flattens them, and it kills them. I wonder if we would say, oh, let him live, let him party. It was a mistake. It was a mistake that 
needs to be acknowledged. And you don't acknowledge that you made a mistake coming out saying, I'm savage. Drop the mic. Stupidity. You don't even hear these channels going at him for that stupid comment. That is pure stupidity. And just as stupid as these idiots with these reports out here. Errol Spence could have killed himself. He could have killed someone else. And it needs to be acknowledged. First and foremost, it needs to be acknowledged. Errol Spence, I'm a fan of yours. I support you. I back you. What happened to, look, I apologize to all my fans. What happened Earl Spence to, I know I made a mistake, I could have killed myself, I let y'all down, and I'm going, I, and I intend to make some changes. What happened to that? No, they want to celebrate and praise the fact that he says, I'm a savage. Then they want to come out and go at other channels that really care about the young man and say that, you know, you need to do things differently. What about these two beautiful little girls right here? What about this, man? Let's talk about these two beautiful little girls Spence is holding right here. You know, what is wrong with you people, man? This is what it should be about. And I don't want to hear anything about Errol Spence coming back to fight in January. You know, I got something to say about a lot of these people talking about, well, yeah, come back and fight. No, he shouldn't. The next nine to ten months, he shouldn't be in the ring. He shouldn't be exercising. He shouldn't be sparring. What he should be doing the next nine to ten months is soul searching, figuring out how he needs to change to better himself and worrying about these two little beautiful children right here, these beautiful little girls right here. And all of you idiots out there that's praising him or giving him a pass or bashing us for speaking the truth, you need to do some soul searching and recheck check your mentality, the way you're thinking about this. This is life and death here, bro. There's no excuse for you potentially being able to kill yourself or someone, being irresponsible from drinking. And then, you know, these channels out here want to hate on us and we're not true Spence fans. No, I'm a true Spence fan. You guys are idiots. Let's get that straight. You're idiots, pure idiots. You don't need to bash him. You don't need to bash him. You need to tell him the truth. That's the problem with these fanboys and these casuals and then these just pure idiots. You think that telling this man the truth is bashing him. That's not bashing him. That's letting him know he needs to make some changes. And getting upset because somebody don't appreciate subscribe to or support the stupid ass comment that he made talking about I'm a savage you guys actually support that man you know enough is enough with this stuff guys we gotta we gotta grow up ourselves as fans what's important those two little girls are important life is important you know, it's like any other job. When you sign up to be a world champion, to be a celebrity status, you got to take what the job, what comes with the job. And what comes with the job is you being responsible, being a role model. You got young fighters and kids looking up to you. Oh, it's okay. We're bashing Spence because he, we're saying that that's not what he should display to the public. That's bashing him? Hey, man, you idiots wake up. That's what I got to say about that. Wake up. And I'm going to have a live about this later. Today, I'm going to be on live. So anybody that caught this video and, you know, don't really agree with some of the things I say, have something to say about some of the things I say, come to my live. I have an open forum. You can get right up there on the panel and get this smoke. For the love of sports, let's talk about it. Peace. Shit that happens, niggas want me to talk about it They love gossip, niggas want me to talk about it Whoa. It's all over the gram, so I'ma talk about it You heard what happened, niggas want me to talk about it Whoa. Shit crazy, niggas want me to talk about it You heard what happened, niggas want me to talk about it